The next thing we're going to do is to create the little aluminium bracket which attaches the motor to the robot. So we make sure that we've got the whole design activated as the active component before we click on new component. And we're going to call that the motor bracket. So click OK on that. And then we're going to choose a surface to draw on. And what I'm going to do is draw on the surface. So we go select the surface, go new sketch, click on that. That's that's the surface we're sketching on. And then we're going to get this two point rectangle. I'll create a rectangle like that, and we'll create a rectangle like that. And we'll just zoom in there a bit. And we'll get the trim tool. And we'll trim out these bits here. And then we will get the dimension tool. And dimension from there to there. Make that to be 25 millimeters. And from there to there make that 10, this thickness here is 1.6 and this thickness here is also 1.6 ok so that's now finished so we hit E for extrude click on that, take that back that way and we will go back 30 and once again we're creating a new body inside of our bracket component. So there we go. Okay. Now we're going to do some more with this thing. So we select that surface and we're going to draw a sketch on it. And we're going to put circles on there. I'm not really caring how big I'm making them, but I am going to do one thing. I'm going to select this equal constraint and make that circle equal to that one. And then when I select the dimension tool and set that one to 3 millimeters, the other one will go to 3 millimeters also. This one goes to 7.5. And the distance between that one and that one is also 7.5. And same with these. And the height of these three circles from the bottom of the bracket is 10 millimeters. Okay, so now I've finished drawing the circles. Just type the letter E for extrude. Now we're going to extrude that circle, and that circle, and that circle. And we're going to push them back that way. And the distance we're going to go back is 1.6. And this is a cut. It's already figured out it's a cut because I pushed it into the surface, so we should just be able to go OK. And there's our three holes. OK, now we're going to go on the surface and do another sketch and draw two more circles. One there and one there. And again, with the equal constraint, we'll make that circle equal in size to that circle. And then we only need to hit D in dimension one of those. So that's going to be 3.5. And then we want to have the distance from that circle from the edge. We'll also set that to 3.5. 
and the distance of this circle from this edge is also set to 3.5 and the distance of this circle from this edge is set to 5 and similarly this one from that edge also 5 so those circles are now finished so type E for extrude that one and that one push back distance of minus 1.6 there ok now we're still not finished we're going to do a thing called a fillet and we're going to fill up that edge and that edge and the filleting radius will be 5 millimeters and so that's just nicely rounded off the corners and there is our bracket finished so once again we can go back and activate the whole design there we go now this time we actually want to move that bracket along and lock it in place so we're going to make a thing called a joint Okay, go assemble, J for joint. Now the thing that we're going to move, you, first of all you select the one you're going to move, and I'm going to put a joint origin at that point there. So I've picked a joint origin on that one, and then I've picked a joint origin on this one too, next, there. So it lines the two joint origins up. That's not actually where I want it. I actually want this thing to go back a further 30 mils there. So here I change this to minus 30 in the x axis direction. Minus 30. And I'm creating a rigid joint. So when I click OK, that's now fixed in position. Now, now that I've made one of those brackets, I actually want two of them. So I'm going to right click it, and if I go up to the top, oh no, it's still here, move copy. Okay, and I'm going to create a copy of it. And I'm just going to push this across to the other side, and there's my next bracket. So that's the easy way to make multiple copies of things that you've already made. Now we want to join this bracket onto the robot as well, but you can see this bracket is the wrong way around. So before we do that, we'll just click on here and go move copy and turn this up here and turn that around through 180 degrees and go OK and then we'll go over to here and we'll go joint capture that position otherwise it's going to move it select a joint origin there and a joint origin there and then move this back by 30. So this should be minus 30. Okay. Now before we go any further, um, you can see there's these two little clamp signs which say that these two brackets have been properly clamped in position. But we haven't actually done this with that and that. However, these ones were actually built in their correct positions. So what we can do now with this is go assemble. And we can create an as-built joint. And to join these into their proper places, you just select that one and that one. And it's now clamped in place. And so we just go OK to that. And another as built joint, and select that one and that one, and OK. 
so there's now a couple of joints there and a couple of joints with the brackets okay that's enough for this movie so in the next movie we'll start building the the tilting slide which can um, dispense the pizzas to one side of the robot or the other